Okay, Steve, how long you been out here, man? This time right now, I've been out here for about five and a half months. Okay, and what's a regular day like for you out here? Uh, I wake up in the morning, try and get through the day, get something to eat, stay stay out of trouble, stay to myself. You know, hopefully it doesn't rain and everything to get through the day. You know, figure out where I'm gonna go at night time. Oh. Usually at night time, I uh I got a spot where I sleep at. You know, under an awning, down on 13th Street. I try to get there in a reasonable time and stay there at night. Welcome to Philadelphia and welcome to another video bringing you the real life stories of those that are dealing with homelessness and living on the street. What's up guys, it's your boy Rico the Trainer and today I'm in Center City, Philadelphia and today I'm here with Steve. Steve, what's up man, how you feeling today? I'm alright man, how are you? I'm good man, you're currently living on the streets, correct? Yes. Okay, and how old are you Steve? I'm 31. 31 years old man and... How long you been out here? At this time, I've been out here for about five and a half months at the moment. Five and a half months. And how did it come about, man? Um, I was incarcerated. I got out in May. Got out. I was working with my um, girlfriend at the time. We, got, we broke up. I lost my job, so I don't have no family or anything. So I ended up out here. And um, just trying to get back, just get off these streets, man. Okay, so pretty much you didn't have a whole lot of choices on places to go. So you just started staying on the streets? Yes. And you know, I don't have no family. I lost both my parents at a young age. You know, I have no siblings. I have an aunt I don't associate with. So you know, I don't really have no support. Okay. And... Have you tried to use the resources here in Philadelphia? I've used some. You know, like, um, I don't, I, the, the whole shelter thing, hard for me. I don't really like the whole shelter, you know, just being there, you know, a lot of stuff going on, stealing and just, the, you know, the people are more of a, like being by myself, you know. Yeah, trust me, I've connected with a lot of people and that's pretty much a common story as far as the shelters and things like that. However, you know, the alternative is to, you know, try to make it out here. Yeah. And that's where it becomes, you know, that's the hard part. Absolutely. So what's it been like, man, for you for these five months? I'm not going to lie, bro. It's been rough. I mean, I, I've been in my, in my life. I've been off and on homeless a couple of times. But um, as of right now, I feel like it's the worst it's been out here with people and just, you know, things crime just everything in, in general out here yeah we we are in a, a rough spot the inflation a lot of people are in dire need of money and people are just doing anything to survive so how do you get by on a day-to-day -day basis um hold a sign panhandle you know it's not easy but um it's an alternative i don't you know i don't steal you know, I don't, a lot of people turn to that. I don't, I don't do that. I try and just get enough money to get through my day for food and everything. You know, it's not, it's not easy, you know, at all. Okay. So from doing this and connecting with people and listening to the feedback, people tend to say that people out here, you know, they don't want to work or they don't want to do what it takes, you know, to make their situation better. How do you feel about that? And how does that apply to you? Me personally, I mean, I usually do work, you know, that's another reason why I hold hold the sign or whatever. Because, I mean, you might have someone walk by that might have their own business. And maybe they're going to give you your own shot. You know, it might give you a chance. You know, I worked my whole life. Like I said, you know, since I've been 15 I've done landscape work, I work in dishes, whatever, you know. I prefer working and staying busy and just that day-to-day -day life. How do you go about hygiene and, you know, washing up and things like that? I mean, I know a couple places I can get a shower, you know. Like every Wednesday there's a place where they have a mobile shower. 
they give you clothes, you know, stuff like that. So. Okay, that's what's up. All right, Steve, so you're 31 years old. You don't, you know, have any family or much support. What does it take for a 31 year old to survive out here in Philadelphia? It takes um, hard, bro, I'm not gonna lie. It's not as easy as it used to be. You know, we have some resources for food and everything, but um, as far as, you know, shelter wise and, you know, living situations, I mean, you gotta get it on your own, you know? You gotta have a job or work and pay for your stuff, you know? Unless you wanna live in a shelter life. But me personally, you know, I had my own apartments and everything. I just want to, I want to get right, get to work and just get my own spot. Start from there. Okay, Steve. So tell me a little bit about where you're from, where you grew up, and a little bit about your background. Okay. From Delaware County, Upper Darby area, 69th Street. Um, I went to prison at a young age. 20. Um, my first time getting in trouble. I did five years. Spent five years jumping around from halfway houses and everything and being out on the streets. How long did you do in prison? Did five years straight. You did five years and, and another that five was the... years and in the system on probation and everything. All right. And that was the first time. And then recently, how long did you do? Just did 11 months. You did 11 months and you came home and you were staying with your girlfriend and then that's when all this transpired. Yes. Okay. Um, and you said you lost your mom and your dad. Do you mind sharing how that happened? Like what age? And I lost my father when I was six to um, suicide. And then I lost my mom when I was 16. to uh, She had a heart attack. Heart failure. Okay. And so... Who you've been like kind of staying with since then? Um, to be honest with you, my girlfriend I was off and on with, and that's about it. You know, I don't. All my childhood friends and people I know, they're all passed away. They're gone. You know, so you know, I just been on my own. You know? Okay. Have you ever used drugs to cope with those situations? Yes. Okay, and do you would you say drugs played a part in you being out here? A little bit, I would okay. say. And um, what if you, you don't mind me asking? What drug did you indulge in? Um, heroin. So okay. you said you don't have pretty much no friends or family. Yes. You haven't utilized the shelter system. Do you? believe or have you ever been diagnosed with any mental health issues yes um depression um adhd when i was younger in school i dropped out at a young age you know um you know anxiety you know you name it not being able to sleep a lot um but really my main thing is the you know the bipolar depression you know i have extreme ups and highs followed by a extreme lows to find a medication to work for me is very hard you know tried numerous numerous ones and nothing works me personally the best i feel is when i'm clean off the drugs and physically healthy you know working out and everything what's your day-to-day -day routine like out here I wake up early in the morning Depending on the day, how the weather is, I, um, you know, try to get something to eat in the, in the morning. Depending if I have any money I wake up with. Um, try to make some money to get through the day to get my food. And, um, you know, try to, you know, talk to people. Try to, you know, try to make progress, you know. That's my main goal. Like, what's the one thing that you do to help you get through a day? Honest with you, bro. I mean, I do have a counselor I talk to. I do talk to her. I try to, you know, like, try to use some resources. Trying to just figure out this next step because it's getting cold fast. 
I'm not trying to be out here. I've done winters out here. I'm not trying to be out here this winter. So I'm just trying to take this first initial step of getting off here and transition. I might, I have insurance and everything. I'm thinking about going to treatment, just getting in there. It's a big, it's a big step. So I'm trying to get everything handled before it gets real cold. What do you think is needed to change your situation? Um, probably taking other people's advice, to be honest with you, because I always feel like I know what I'm doing, I know what to do, and, you know, to be honest with you, it's never worked for me, so I feel like it's just, I have to take different guidance this time, you know, I would like to, you know, I've been to rehab eight times, I would like to go to treatment, go from there to a recovery house, and just, you know, take baby steps and transitioning. I always try and just move too fast, and before I know it, you know, I crash and burn. What's the hardest part about being out here for you? The hardest part? It's just, I mean, staying, you know, trying to be safe out here, you know, it's probably the worst been out here with, you know, people getting robbed, just getting your stuff stolen and starting over again. The weather right now, you know, it's starting to get cold, trying to stay warm. It's been raining a lot, so just trying to stay dry. You know. Okay, so Steve, you out here, um, you know, you get your sign, and what's the treatment like from the people? You know, like when they see you with the sign, are there p people willing to help, or how, how does that go? To be honest with you, um, very few, very few. A lot of people, they'll walk by and won't even give you the, t the uh, peace of mind, won't even look at you or nothing. You know? Let alone giving you money or food or anything, you know. I might maybe ask somebody, for example, who's on the phone, what time it is, and they'll just keep walking right by. You know? uh, how do you feel when, you know, people do stop and are willing to help? Feels good. You know, because it feels like people are trying to, you know, you know, you're not, you're not forgotten. You know, someone's, someone's trying to help you, you know, because it's hard out here. It is, you know, so, some days are harder than, than most, you know, you know, people just walk by and everything like that. And won't even, you know, look your way or something, you know, it does hurt. So within these five months, what kind of things have you seen out here? A lot. I mean, for, you know, people getting robbed at night. You know, I mean, some people just, you know, high on drugs, you know, completely losing it. You know, some people up for days, you know, just walking around with barely no clothes on. You know what I mean? Like, there's, you know, especially sleeping outside out here, you know, you're not safe. You know? I've lost everything numerous times. I'm stuck with only the clothes on my back. You know, and have to accumulate everything over and over again. You know? Yeah, that's a pretty common story. You know, with people losing things from death. Um, you know, that seems to be the norm. And so, at 31 years old, what have you learned from this experience? It doesn't take long to get here. So, I mean, some people might think, you know, they might not be in this situation to be out here, you know, but it only takes a, a few things to happen. And you can be right out here, you know. That's a fact. Um, I definitely try to enlighten people on that. You know, a lot of people are only, as I like to say, a paycheck away, you know, from being in a situation like this. And, you know, hopefully it doesn't happen, you know. So from going through this, what advice would you give to anybody out there so that they won't go through a situation like this? Just keep pushing, keep fighting, you know, just just know that, you know, you can make it if you just keep, you know, keep your head and keep it pushing and just staying positive, not being negative, you know. All right. What would you want anybody to know about you personally or your situation or Steve as a person? 
uh, I'm a very caring, loving person. I've been through a lot in my life, and I try to get the stars and just keep, just keep moving on and not give up. I try to live every day like it's my last, and just try and just get get my life better. If your situation changed today or tomorrow, what would you be doing? I would say just working a regular, living a normal life, going to work in the morning, having my, my place, just living with someone that loves me for who I am, and just having things, you know, it's a place to call my own and a purpose. Absolutely. All right, Steve, man. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing your story. You're okay with me sharing this on my YouTube channel, right? Yes. Okay. And, um, you know, just continue to stay strong, continue to push, and just, just try to strive to, you know, get out of this situation as much as you can. And, you know, if you got to use the resources that's available, you know, do that to, you know, try to make your situation better. Thank you, man. But, um, appreciate thanks it. Thanks for your time, Steve. And uh, keep no God problem. first. Thank you, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this mission. Thank you for supporting the channel. Please like, share, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time with another video.